Now we finally made it. I'm starving, had to get fresh because I know we were going to go to another layer of how do you strengthen the body. After working out, my focus is to keep everything lean. So when I'm demonstrating, I have such a, a large audience and whenever you want to perform, you got to be intact all the way. So we're going to cover some of the things that you're going to need whenever you're focused on eating to strengthen the torso, the body, and how do you actually supposed to eat as a fighter? First thing you gotta see is the menu. We intermittent fast over here, and the reason why that's so important, having the ability to process your food, allowing your body to cleanse and feed the cells is a basic principle of nutrition. When you're intermittent fasting, the key is going 16 hours, making sure you give the body plenty of time to cleanse itself, not digest the food, but cleanse the system. That's why people fast. A lot of people take it upon themselves to eat very healthy, but they do not take it upon themselves to cleanse the body, allow the body to cleanse itself. So therefore you start to get jam up, fat pockets and stuff. So I'm gonna tell you how to get rid of that and prevent that from happening. Whenever your focus is to lean the body out for strength, you gotta keep it very simple. First thing you gotta have is your proteins. Here we have chicken, grilled spinach, our focus is to get more protein from our vegetables. The main reason there is any protein inside of meat products is because that animal fed off the land. So keep that in mind. Get your protein from your vegetables. The next thing you got to do whenever you're fasting intermittently is increase the fat intake. Minimize carbohydrate intake. Here we have carbs and a little bit of coconut oil to satiate the body. I use that instead of butter. Now, the best thing about butter is it comes in a grass fed manner. And if you can use that, that's the better form of it. No hormones. You do not need the body loaded with toxins when you're trying to lean out, all right? These key principles will get you to the promised land. Key reason why fats are important when you're intermittent fasting is that's your energy source. Whenever you have to feed that body energy from all of the training, you gotta go straight to the fat. Why? Because carbohydrates increase the level of, and creates insulin in the body. And you do not want the body to go through all of those different tiers in order to digest food. So you minimize that, you won't have that spike in insulin and you get the fat and the energy and you'll start to see your body lean out extremely well, good. And like I said, when it comes down to fats, I'm all about the nuts, coconut oil, and MCTs. The MCT is great for the brain stimulation, feeds it that fat it needs. And when you're starting to have that foggy, cloudy thought process going on, start taking that teaspoon a day. You'll start to feel a lot of the impact whenever you start to isolate your brain and take care of it. Brain health is uber important. All right, now see one of the techniques that I use myself, I'm a portion guy. I can easily get carried away with eating too much if I do not portion things out. So what I'll do is I'll cut half of this potato, place it in the Tupperware, lock her down. I'll eat all of the greens because remember what I said, I want to get all of the greens and use that as my protein source. And here, I will take half of the chicken, which is, this is three strips, tenderloin. I'll cut, 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 take half, and in the next hour and a half to two hours, that will be my next meal. 
giving the body time to digest part of it, then move on to the next. Portion control is king when you're trying to lean out the body. Now, I got a segue. This, for those of you who just tuned in and you did not see the beginning of this, we went through some boxing techniques and the principle and foundation of boxing. From there, we went into exercise training. As you can see on the overlay, there are just several things that need to thread themselves together. I did not want to continue to put anything out here without it being enough to solve a problem that you had. Now, you had the exercise, you had the boxing skill, and you have the meal set up. Nuts are another go-to. Here we have pecans and almonds. You don't go crazy with these things though. Your objective is to eat 10. You need fat, but when you start to jam your body up, start to pop out pimples and stuff, you don't want that. Skin gets very oily and you do not want to do that. That is kind of like counterproductive. Biggest thing is to make sure you prevent the body from adding and gaining fatness. And if you eat too much of that, the body just it doesn't know what to do, so it starts to store it. And the next thing you have is fat pockets. So think about that. Remember, the key reason why we intermittent fast, which is going, let's say you stop eating at 8 o'clock p.m. Well, you eat again at 12. If you stop eating at 7 p.m., you eat at 11 a.m. So it's uber important that you find a way to satiate your body. Get up in the morning, make you a bulletproof coffee, energize the brain, and bulletproof, you will have the MCT oils, you will have grass-fed butter. These things replace all of the junk. So the principles of intermittent fasting, leaning out the body, and maximizing your return is keen for energy. But one thing I wanna know, what type nutrition plan have you tried and how effective was it? The key into what we're trying to do is to make sure you have the complete remedy and you're not being counterproductive. Key thing about intermittent fasting, when you do get up in the morning and you just need something in your body, you can always take the berries, anything that aids you in digestion, and you can consume that. Afterwards, I do my famous lemon and water. 10 berries, strawberry, blackberry. Blackberry's great for scraping the inside and exfoliating the gut. And then a few strawberries. That's the perfect recipe when you get up in the morning and follow it with the lemon water, lime water. It is all good. That's the beauty of intermittent fasting. About 10 years ago, we began being very visible in the virtual world. What we found out is people will always segue to a nice plan, nice workouts, but we consistently seen this one missing component. In a month or two, after going strong, you start to fade out because we realize there was a lack of accountability. You need a place of destination. That's why this is such a complete experience for you. So we hope you take the time and join our team, making this a part of your day to day and having a place to be accountable. It's all in where you're trying to get to. Surround yourself with like-minded people and you'll soon see that that's the recipe to make it to the pinnacle in the highest levels. I hope you took time to write down some notes. Continue to follow us. And if you're out here and this helped you, subscribe because it's only more like this coming to you. Until next time, continue blessings at God's speed. My name is Eric A. Bradley. I thank you guys for taking the time out to tune in to It's Time to Box a place where you can get it all in one cycle. So long, peace.